if this video doesn't go viral, I don't know what will. I'm going to show you how you can enjoy the holidays and still maintain your keto diet. What a guan. For those who don't speak Jamaican patwa, that's hey, what's up? At the end of this video, I'm going to give you a bonus tip. So stick around to the end of the video for that bonus tip. If you're adamant about sticking to your keto diet over the holidays, bring a keto friendly dish to the feast. It can serve two purposes. One, as a gift to the party, and two, as something for you to eat should there not be any food at the feast that accommodates your keto diet. Good examples include a simple salad with olive oil, side of non-starchy vegetables, think Brussels sprouts or broccoli, or a keto appropriate dessert. Super keto friendly options include broth based soups with green leafy vegetables, mashed cauliflower instead of potatoes, and protein rich dishes. Since the keto diet is focused on consuming low carbohydrates, be mindful of hidden carbs in condiments, sauces, and dressings. Though they don't seem like it, these type of foods are loaded with sugar. Substitute salad dressing for olive oil or vinaigrette. Avoid using gravy and ketchup on food. Other foods such as meat loaf, meatballs, and smothered meats have hidden carbs as well due to the items used to prepare them. I know, I know, I know. Who eats snacks at the holiday feast? But bringing your keto snacks will help you to avoid the temptation of chowing down on the holiday food. There are a wide variety of tasty keto treats that you can eat instead of your favorite dessert. Brands such as Quest Protein offer a wide variety of snacks you can choose from. I'll put that in the show notes below. Munching on these kind of snacks throughout the holiday get together is a sure way to stay on your keto diet. And you don't have to avoid all your favorite foods all together. Just plan out to spend your carbs. If you're tracking your total carb count, choose your favorite foods for holiday and track them so you don't overdo it. So if you love pie or potatoes, just measure the serving size and enjoy every bite. If you want to drink alcohol, you'll have to include that in the total carb count too. It does count. What you'll want to do is avoid beer and stick to hard alcohol, which is carb free, and avoid the sugary holiday drinks and mixers. You'll also want to avoid cocktails or anything sweet like juice or cola based mixers. Stick the clear liquors like vodka, whiskey, gin, scotch, and tequila contain zero carbs. Just mix these with soda water or plain water. Add a lemon, lime, or a sprig of rosemary for a keto holiday cocktail. If you plan to enjoy a few of your holiday foods, have a plan to get back on track. A couple of ways to quickly get back into ketosis include intermittent fasting, which I did a video on, so check that out, and supplementing with exogenous ketones. If you want, or need a more structured plan, you can do a Keto 30 challenge. I'll put that in the show notes below as well. It'll get you back into ketos and help you lose any weight you may have gained over the holidays. Now, onto that bonus tip. Simply carry a bottle of water or sparkling water to drink and keep your hands occupied. Studies have surprisingly shown that water increases satiety. It'll also help you with your appetite and weight loss. Just keep that bottle of water in your hand to help with the urge to indulge. So, Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. See you in the next video.